First, there was the extreme summer heat stretching across large parts of the country. Then, devastating wildfires, including an inferno that destroyed the entire town of Lytton, B.C. Highway is closed for a long time. And late in the year, British Columbia pummeled again by torrential rain. And here's the frightening news. Most climate experts agree that these extreme weather events are the new normal. The warming of the atmosphere essentially ramps up the energy of these uh, storms so they can be more intense in terms of precipitation and wind. So that begs the question, can anything be done to stop all of this? The answer is yes. But those who monitor climate change for a living say Canada needs to get serious about tackling this crisis in 2022. It's uh, certainly no exaggeration to say that we simply can no longer ignore the threat that climate change is already bringing to our lives and the imperative to ramp up action to, to avoid the worst effects of climate change. The words climate change were spoken often over the past year on Parliament Hill. The federal government announced several measures, including our country's first ever national adaption strategy. Then there's greenhouse emissions, which Canada has pledged to cut by up to 45% within this decade. The overall goal is to reach net zero emissions by 2050, but it's still unclear how we'll reach those lofty targets. Canada does need to play a leadership role on the global stage, um, but it's, um, you know, our credibility in that respect is really limited by our failure to take uh, effective action here at home. Emissions in Canada are still rising. Now, of course, global warming isn't only a Canadian problem, and that's where COP26 comes in. The United Nations Global Climate Change Summit garnered international attention. That's definitely a good thing, but many believe that not enough was done to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. And I think in the final analysis, there was a broad consensus that uh, that COP26 failed ultimately um, and did not deliver the level of ambition needed to meet um, to meet the, cha the, the, the challenge of, of, of climate change today. The David Suzuki Foundation is calling for definitive climate change action to be taken in 2022. That would involve our federal, provincial and municipal governments working closely together and applying the same level of urgency that's been used during the COVID-19 pandemic to get things done quickly. For City News, I'm Melanie Ng.